Do you guys remember the Card King event in Rise of Kingdoms? Or maybe you forgot that the Garden of Infinity used to be an event that came around once in a while and would wreck us content creators spinning this stupid dice down here in the corner. Did you know that both of these events were listed in a class action lawsuit against Lilith Games in Rise of Kingdoms? Yeah, I didn't either. So today we're going to talk about both of these events and I'm going to speculate as to why these events may have disappeared. But before we jump into that, if you are curious about this lawsuit I cover it in detail on my second channel the link to that video will be down below it's gonna go live at the exact same time as this one so if you want go ahead and pause this video and check that out moving forward I'm gonna cover different news and topics on that second channel so make sure you go ahead and subscribe there it would seriously mean the world to me because it takes a lot of time to research and edit those types of videos so I figured why not make the first one on rise of kingdoms a topic that you guys already like okay first let's talk about card King because this is a really interesting event I feel like this event was around for a very long time before it was I assume to be discontinued I don't know about you guys but I haven't seen card King in a long time it could be the case that it's still available in maybe newer kingdoms and it just disappears in season of conquest I have no idea if you guys have seen card King recently I would love to hear from you in the comment section below and also the Garden of Infinity for that matter but essentially the purpose of card King was to give players a way to obtain not not just wheel of fortune commanders but also mightiest governor commanders that have been around for a while so if I am remembering correctly and it's totally possible that I'm not but the last time that I was doing card King on my account and typically I wouldn't really play this event I remember I used this event as a way to sort of just unlock my DS governor commanders but I never really used it as a way to to reliably get a ton of sculptures of somebody that I actually wanted but last time I did this event I believe I used it to unlock Artemisia and to get a couple of sculptures of Leonidas and so it's my understanding that this event was at least around through kvk3 back when kvk3 included guan yu and leonidas now many of you may not know this currently guan yu is listed as a season of conquest commander but back in the day you could use guan yu and leonidas and commanders like attila and takeda in kvk3 and my understanding is that those kvk3 commanders meaning those commanders that don't have the massive power creep that we see for a lot of the season of conquest commanders would eventually show up here in the card king as commanders that you can get your hands on now eventually as we all know those kvk3 commanders kind of just were merged into season of conquest and then i guess maybe there was just no reason to have card king anymore but the way that this event would work is that you would actually pick a commander that would have sculptures in this event and you would have to match different cards in order to gain whatever that item is and so there was a way where you could get universal legendary commander sculptures here you could get specific commander sculptures like I said Artemisia and I think uh, even like Richard and stuff some of the older commanders were on here as well but also you could get like resources right you could get uh stone or food or wood or something like that and so in this way it was kind of like the bastard cousin of the wheel of fortune I feel like the wheel of fortune had maybe a more limited amount of commanders you could obtain maybe more sculptures and value out of the wheel of fortune than the card king that was my assumption and the way that I remember it I just I remember never really doing this event because I just didn't really see the value there now it's also worth noting that this event was around mainly back when you could not pick the wheel of fortune so here back you know these days we could actually choose which commander is on the wheel of fortune and that will actually change right there but back in the day this was not actually a feature of the wheel of fortune you were just at mercy to whoever was on that wheel at that time and so a lot of the times it wouldn't be worth it to spin for that wheel if it was a commander you didn't care about or a commander that you expertise already you could literally do nothing with those sculptures so there was actually a good reason to sort of play card king once in a while to maybe just just unlock those commanders for example Artemisia you could un unlock with card King and then use universals on her whereas without that you would actually have to win a mightiest governor event for Artemisia right so this was kind of Lilith's initial way 
at you know giving you the opportunity to obtain some of those commanders now it's also worth noting that the card king event came around way before you could actually choose a lot of these commanders in the daily special offer and i think this is probably another reason why card king is no longer an event that comes around in rise of kingdoms because at the end of the day you could just buy these commanders these days if you really wanted to even all the way up through theodora and isun sin who are both incredible incredibly good and I would say these are late game commanders in my opinion now of course they're not as good as like let's say Nevsky or CPO Prime for example but I would say overall there's a really solid selection of really powerful commanders here for the daily special offer that you can just straight up purchase with real money so the fact that the wheel of fortune is pick one and the daily special offer is pick one sort of makes card king an obsolete event and on top of that each card flip costed 300 gems and if you didn't ever find the corresponding card that matches with it it was just a waste of gems for example let's say i flipped over this card and it was a universal commander sculpture then i flip over this card and it was wood or whatever right and then i ran out of gems well great news i just spent 600 gems and you get literally nothing for it right you would get literally nothing and so you would have to continue playing until you matched all the cards that you cared about and so for that reason i actually hated this event uh, i'm glad that it's gone it did offer you i think one or two free flips basically but at the end of the day i thought this was event this event was pretty garbage and there also wasn't any probability tables um it's my understanding that you know this is a one in 12 shot of picking up the specific card that you're looking for because there's 12 cards here obviously but that doesn't necessarily mean that's how this game mode worked right it could be the case that the game flips over all these cards randomly and then it decides in the back end okay whatever card he flips up next it's going to be a uh, it's going to be food right and so whether you pick this card or you pick this card the game could have already decided that you're getting food there's the illusion of choice here but we know that you know mobile games especially games like rise of kingdoms aren't typically transparent on how these games really work now there are some regulations like on the uh, apple app store and google play store for example that require that that some games disclose different probabilities and things like that um and so it's really unclear I, i'm not saying that um this event did operate that way but i am saying it's possible that it did uh, and that's why the game felt so unfavorable and so uh, kind of lame right and just just not good uh and speaking of lame events that didn't feel good let's talk about the garden of infinity okay because this event really sucked and i never really played this event i know uh, i believe chiskel did a lot of live streams with this event where he got completely wrecked most of the time um and i did play this event sometimes but really i just found this this event very unfavorable also relatively boring and honestly there were just so many horrible rewards on this table that I just I just couldn't do it okay now for those of you who don't know what the Garden of Infinity is essentially this was a game mode where you would pop this bubble in the bottom right corner and it would roll a dice for you okay literally a six-sided dice would be rolled and you would start at this golden button here and you would move however many spaces you actually rolled so let's say you roll a three you would go one two three and you would land on this purple chest here I literally forgot what these purple chests would give you my assumption is that it was random purple blueprints but I literally forgot I don't know this event was so bad that I don't remember so essentially whatever space you landed on is what you would actually obtain however you could get something like the plus three where if you roll a two you would go one two you land here and then it goes one two three and you, you get this one blue material choice chest which was very cool or you could land on the times two and if i remember correctly what that meant was that whatever you rolled next would be doubled and you would move that many spaces here you see the little reversal icon this would actually send you back in the other direction which was just absolutely insane uh and a lot of these rewards you know some of them were cool some of them weren't uh the fact that you could get three of the epic material choice chests in a single roll was really nice this does only appear once on the board so keep that in mind but ultimately this event was generally unfavorable it seemed like an event that was sort of a gem sink it seemed like an event that was very expensive and it was really for the whales and you have to remember that this event came out around the time uh, or, or around the time or and shortly after the equipment system actually came into the game it was supposed to be like the wheel of fortune event but for materials and blueprints which you could see here but 
remember back when the equipment system came out there was actually if i remember correctly there were six different materials that you could actually get instead of only four here so if we take a look there's four different types of materials that you can actually get back then i believe there were six or maybe even seven i don't remember exactly there were like feathers and something else in here but anyway the purpose of this event was again sort of like the wheel of fortune but for the equipment system instead of the commander system and so a lot of people saw this as like a well event right whereas the wheel of fortune was just a way to maybe unlock commanders and you could slowly work on them over time this was more of a well event because it would you know you really had to spend a lot of gems just to get the few material choice chests that were on the board here i mean obviously we have a couple of the blue ones we have a couple of the purple ones here but the rest is just a bunch of bs right you have like yeah there was like universal speed ups here and stuff like that and there was some milestone rewards down here just like there are on the wheel of fortune but in general it just seemed so expensive for you know just a handful of material choice chests and i think ultimately players just didn't like this event it got to the point where you know i often spin at least a little bit on the wheel of fortune but i would basically never play this event even if i was spending and max purchasing bundles i would pretty much always skip this event because it was just so expensive it just seemed like an absolute ripoff it just seemed like a huge scam but then there was also the question that was raised at one point about the legitimacy of this event so what i mean by that is you know we don't actually know if this dice roll was rigged right we're assuming based on how the game looks and operates that the dice was not rigged but at the same time the rules don't ever state that this is a fair six-sided dice and i know that that sounds like oh my god that's so conspiracy theory but you have to remember rise of kingdoms is a game with like 900 different types of loot boxes there's like two battle passes a crystal tech system i mean if there's a way to monetize in a mobile game rise of kingdoms has done it and if there's a way that they can blur the the lines between legal and illegal and blur the lines between you know getting into a little bit of a gray area there's absolutely no reason to assume that this event was operating fairly i mean if we look at the wheel of fortune for example this is a 12 spoke wheel that does not operate as it appears to it appears to be that each space has a an equal probability of occurring right this wheel is divided evenly into 12 different segments each segment has the same size these are the same size on the wheel which implies that they would have the same probability of occurring but if you click the little eye over here you'll see that that's not actually how this works so despite this appearing to be a fair and even wheel that is not actually the case so there is no reason to assume that this is a fair and even dice roll every single time that it's rolled and some would speculate that this event did something in the background to sort of always get you to just spin one more time just it's one more like, oh you landed on the two times that oh just just one more spin or oh, oh look look where you landed you're so close to getting that to getting that three drop you're, you're just so close and so personally i'm really happy that we no longer have this event in the game now eventually this was replaced by events like the hunt for history which is that egyptian style event where you get certain hammers and you just break open each individual box and hope that you actually get what you're looking for we also now have the holy knights treasure event which i also think is a much better event than the garden of infinity ever was and who could forget esmeralda's house now i actually don't know whose thumbnail this is obviously this is the youtube thumbnail so shout out to you if this is yours but again this is an event where you draw cards and there's you know certain milestone rewards and stuff like that and ultimately that event was also better than the garden of infinity and who could event the new esmeralda wheel that has a bunch of different crazy stuff here including heads and universal choice chests for materials so it's no wonder that the garden of infinity event is uh no longer with us okay this this event just was a big scam it was very expensive and pretty much everybody hated it I don't know anybody who actually enjoyed this this was the garden of pain this was the garden of scams okay so I think both this event and the card king event just became quickly obsolete and unfavorable from the community which caused Lilith eventually to just pull the plug on them and replace them with newer better events that gave the players maybe more value or they were more fun in general or maybe they just had better odds for the players or it could be the case that because both of these events were listed in the rise of kingdoms class action lawsuit against Lilith games that Lilith decided hey you know what it's actually not worth it to keep these events 
in this game and again if you guys want more information about this I'll have like a 20 minute video on my second channel covering that class action lawsuit in California there will be a link in the description below to go ahead and check it out and consider liking and subscribing to that channel it really is going to help that channel a ton and hopefully I can give you guys really awesome content over there that maybe isn't always rise of kingdoms related but possibly just mobile gaming or gaming news in general anyway with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the main channel a ton of course subscribe to the channel down below and consider clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below what do you think the reason is that they got rid of the card king or the garden of infinity event I would love to hear from you and did you like these events do you miss these events or are you glad they're gone and replaced with new ones with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace